Welcome back to the channel guys. Today we are going to be installing this. I don't have a workbench and apparently the hood seems to be the workbench as of right now. But let's go ahead, we'll pop this out of the package and I'll show you what we got here. Here we have a complete tint kit for this vehicle. So this is from, it looks like, Precision uh, Window Films. And they have directions here on the back side for how to do this. Um, since this is a complete kit, this is going to have everything in it to do both of the side windows, the little rear corner windows, and then also the whole entire rear glass window. I've only did this once before on another car. We'll go take a look at my other car over here that I did it on. I did all the windows myself. Uh, it's pretty dirty right now, so you can't tell, but you can see it's highly reflective right now. This is a 20% tint that I went with on these windows as well as here the rear window i did not have success in doing it and i had to end up scrapping the piece so that's why this is not tinted back here i went with 10 percent for the windows so i went a little bit darker this is going to be pretty dark um, so you're not going to be able to see through this like hardly at all it's kind of dark in here right now there's no sunlight but already it's pretty dark and kind of hard to see through on camera 10 percent all the way on the sides and then the rear i went for 20 percent I didn't want this absolutely pitch black because then it's just going to be hard to see out your rear windshield. I will go ahead, we're going to kind of spread out this kit and the first step that we're going to need to do is wipe down all these windows really good with some cleaner. I did have a little bit of overspray on this side over here when I was painting. You can kind of see up in here all that little glittery parts is from the overspray on that paint so I'll have to take like some lacquer thinner and just clean that up. But right now I'm just gonna clean all the windows as good as possible. I've kind of went over these now with just a microfiber towel and a little bit of lacquer thinner, just wiping it on both the inside and the outside of the window. Now I'll moved on to uh, the next step here. We're gonna clean this up. I have just a little bit of soapy water solution and then I have a little razor blade right here. And what I'm doing is just spraying the solution on here. And then I'm just scraping kind of the surface of the glass. I'm not scratching it, but I'm just keeping it at a nice angle where this glides off. And ideally, it's just going to take any contaminants on the surface. If we do have a little bit more overspray that we need to get off, this should be able to do it. I did remove this door panel. It's just loosely setting on the car. But basically, it's out of this groove where it would normally set. So this is the inside weather stripping channel right here. And we're gonna remove this because it's kind of in the way and this tint is gonna go underneath it. So with this on here, you're not gonna be able to get that tint fully on. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna take this weather strip piece here and we're just gonna pull this out and get this out of the way. And we're gonna need to clean all the way down in here too as well. I'm gonna be mixing up my slip solution that I'm gonna be using. This is what's going to go down on the window and we're going to basically put the tint on top of it and then we'll squeegee it out from underneath the tint film. All it is is water. So this is just a bottle of water that I have that I dumped into here and we're going to be using some Johnson's baby shampoo. Hopefully we're just going to put a couple drops in here and it's better if you put less of this in here than more of it. Now I have all the tints laid out on top of the car. So this one right here, um, they're all where they need to go. This is gonna be for hopefully the front driver's side. It's hard for me to tell until you take the backing off which side is gonna go on what. But basically what they have is these are all pre-cut. You, pre you can see this line that goes around. You'll have to remove the center piece here out from the whole entire backing part. And once you get that out, then we can go ahead, take the backing off and then set it on this window. So for starting this process, we have a good, nice, clean window. We're gonna roll this down and give us a little bit of space here up at the top. It looks like we can literally just peel this piece off and then set it on here. Make sure this is nice and mixed up before you spray it on. And then we'll go ahead, hit the whole entire window. And you wanna get this very nice and soaking wet. We're gonna peel off this top part and then we're also gonna spray additionally the back side of this too as well. Also, here's my squeegee. I don't think I showed you it yet. Now we'll just set this into place. 
and then we're gonna maneuver this to where we kind of want it to be at. So just looking at this, one thing to point out here really quickly is you can see this is not all the way up to the top edge. If you get this all the way up to the top edge, you're gonna mess this up. You wanna leave a little bit of a gap all the way. You'd rather have somewhat of a gap than have it too far up because if you do, you're gonna mess it up, it's gonna peel off and it's not gonna look right. So this is about right. Looks like the sides are starting to go in, so that's pretty good. These will need to get tucked in more over here, but we can work with that. Now we can uh, push this part up on the window and then we'll tuck in this bottom part next. Once it's in a good spot where you like it, we'll go ahead, we'll secure it down just by taking the squeegee and we're just gonna start pushing all these air bubbles and this slip solution out. So right now I'm just gonna push it out the top. You can, start, you can start to see all these air pockets go up and out, which is exactly what you want. Top's good. Now we will roll the window all the way up and start working on this bottom part and also get our corners all secured on this. We are all good. First tinted window is on. We just gotta make sure that you get your edges where that tin ends all the way secured and locked down. If you do that, it should not be coming off. We look from the outside to see this tint. So here it is. We'll go ahead, we'll move on. I'll probably do this back window here next and we'll kind of see what it looks like. We'll compare this side to the other side and kind of see the difference. Both windows tinted on the driver's side here. Last thing I have left to do on this side is going to be this little rear triangle window. Looking over everything here, main spots that I saw, there's a couple of bubbles right on this edge over here. Still is a little bit dirty, but I don't know if I'm gonna be able to do much with these. I might be able to take a heat gun to them and maybe get them out. But other than that, um, this is pretty much it. This is how it looks. Pretty dark, it's good, I like it. I'll come over here and compare the other side to it so you can kind of get a little bit of a comparison. So here's gonna be the other side. Very light, clearly see-through everything, fishbowl. Passenger side is done. I did find one little piece of dirt that it looks like got stuck in the window uh, right there. You can see it, kind of bugs me. I wish I would have been able to get that out, but it is what it is, it's stuck in there now. Not gonna be able to fix that. So this side turned out okay, um, no major issues. Everything's on, so now we can pretty much go ahead and move on to the rear trunk of this car. Um, I'll grab the tube and I'll show you how I'm gonna do that next. I'm just gonna take a quick detour. I have something that's pretty small that I wanna do to the rear tail light. I did get some new LED backup lights. So these will go in place. They're gonna go right here. We did tint these, so the normal halogen rear reverse lights, it's not gonna be as bright or put off as much light as something like this would, an LED. So we're gonna go ahead. I'm gonna show you what these look like. I'll put it in reverse real quick, set the camera up. We'll see what it looks like before and then we'll swap these in and we'll do a comparison of the two. Install is about as easy as it gets. Here's the two tail lights or the reverse lights back here. You'll just counterclockwise twist it and the bulb will come right out. Just be careful with it, just like so. And then we're gonna go ahead, take this one and put it right into here. Here are the pieces for the rear windshield. As you can see, we have two pieces going on here as opposed to one piece. Um, we will need to, and per the directions, because the rear windshield is curved, like most rear windshields, we are going to have to heat shrink each one of these pieces before we go ahead and actually install them on the inside. So to heat shrink these, we're gonna place them on the rear windshield, the outside, um, with the film side facing up and we're going to basically layer, get it centered in place um, with some solution down and pretty much uh, tack it down and squeegee everything out and heat up the areas that need to 
that they're called fingers that need to get um, spread out so that way they lay down even. So we're gonna get this tint film. We're gonna do the top half first. So we'll get that half set up here and I'll show you how to do that. Now with everything sprayed down, we'll go ahead and we'll set this on top. We'll get it in the place where we want it. We'll just slide it around. We're gonna like tack down the middle with our squeegee and then you can see there's already, so these are what the fingers are called right here, all these creases like this one right here, that one right there. So we'll take the heat gun to these once we get all this smoothed out and we're just gonna push these out and that heat should lay it down nice and smoothly. So any one of these spots right here. I'm gonna start working from the middle and I will work my way out from the middle. Now I've squeegeed over the whole thing and yes, that includes all these spots where the creases are. I'll show you real quick what these do when you do squeegee them. So when you do squeegee them, they will come right back. You can see this one forming, it's coming right back after we squeegee it. So these are the fingers that I'm talking about. So we'll take the heat gun to every single one of these spots, lay a little bit of heat on it, and then we'll slide it down. And it should push all of these out of here and get everything nice and smooth. Right now I have most of these fingers worked on out of here. They keep coming back, especially right at specifically the edges. Uh, for the most part, they were down quite a ways. I was able to get them pushed in. This is kind of, I'll probably go over it one more time just because I don't want to have to run into any issues. But we're almost there with this one. Once this is good, we'll go ahead and peel this off and we can set this um, on the inside of the car on that rear window. Back rear windshield is now on. Let's go ahead and squeegee this out, get all these creases out, and see how this turns out. So fingers crossed. I'm gonna finish up this tent. I'm just gonna work on this last bottom section here. Just aligning this up, this curve right here matches up to this part, this top part perfectly. So we should be able to section this in pretty nicely. Right now, I'm just gonna go ahead. We'll get the solution on here, we'll tack this down, and we'll use the heat gun again to try and get all these fingers out. And after that, we'll just go ahead and throw it in on the inside and hopefully wrap up this tent. Everything went pretty good so far with the top section. The only issues I had was the sides did have a couple of small fingers that I could not get out over here. I'll see what I can do about them. And then also the very top part right here, this is like for the rear tail light. This is really hard to get underneath the squeegee. And in the section, I don't know if the camera will pick it up or not, but there is a section in there. I think it's right there that I'm not able to get out. I just can't get underneath it that well. We have success tinting the rear windshield. Uh, for the bottom piece, there was a little spot on here. You can see it through the back part right over here where it did overlap a little bit, and this is also where that seam is. I just had a little bit of extra slack and it ended up kinking. Basically had to go there. You can see it especially right here. So this line right here is where it overlapped. Not a big deal. Um, it's a pretty small section, but I just couldn't uh, remove the film completely because it was already halfway on. And at that point, I kind of just had to go with it. So other than a couple fingers on the sides that really there's not a whole lot I can do about a lot about either, that is it. Um, so that's the 20% tint. It's pretty dang dark, um, but it's like the right amount. I should still be able to see. You can still see um, through the very front here, so it's not crazy dark. I'll still be able to see through the rear windshield, which is a win for me. Other than that, tint is all good on here. I just need to wait like a day or two, let it completely dry. I think there, there is still a couple bubbles of, in like the windshields and also some streaks, but once this actually dries that solution underneath, it should kind of, most of that should go away. So I kind of need to let it bake out in the sun one of these days, 
to fully cure. But once we do that, the tint should be all set at that point. I'm just gonna do a quick walk around, show you all the windows on this and all the tint work that we just did. Starting from this corner piece right here, coming back. So windows still do need to be cleaned up. That's where that dust is, but cannot see inside the car. Can a little bit. Camera makes it a little bit harder to see. Um, you can actually see through the car in person, just not that great at all. Like you can see bright things like there's a towel right there. That's what that yellow thing is. But definitely reflects more than you can see inside of it though. And there are a couple bubbles and whatnot. This isn't a perfect job, but it'll do the job. And it looks pretty decent, I think, for, for a DIYer. So I'm also super happy that I was able to get this rear windshield to work. These are the hardest things to do, in my opinion. There it is. Hopefully you learned the video. Maybe you learned something if you're trying to do this at home yourself. But thanks for tuning in. Like, subscribe, and thanks for joining.